What's up everyone, let's show welcome back to Face Fitness. Everyone knows the saying, the grass is greener on the other side. I believe that to be true, but I believe it's more than that. What I believe is that the grass is always greener on the other side of your biggest obstacle. Now whether your fitness goal is, you know, losing weight, you know, putting on muscle mass, or trying to achieve something for a sport or whatever it may be. Each one of you are gonna have to overcome some obstacles in order to achieve that goal. And obstacles are the reasons we don't achieve those goals because once we overcome the obstacles and the challenges, that's how we get to accomplish our goal. I think the key between closing that gap between point A and point B is figuring out which obstacle is most important. Which one is gonna help take you to the destination the fast. Now mostly everybody watching this video are gonna have a lot of the same obstacles and challenges. Whether it be finding out the right nutrition plan or finding out the right exercise plan for yourself. You know the how to, the information, the knowledge, what to do and how to do it. And a lot of you share the obstacle and the challenge of motivation and self-discipline, of really applying yourself and staying you know, motivated and focused and determined to achieving the goal. However, knowledge and motivation aren't really the real main reasons you haven't achieved your goal yet. A lot of us tend to ignore the subtleties in the little things that we think really aren't that significant to helping us achieving the goal. They don't really seem like they're really getting in the way that much, but they actually really are. Now this is where you come into play because the number one reason you haven't achieved your goal is actually really, really different for all of you. Now for some of you it might be similar, but still, for each of you, there's one specific thing. There's that one giant obstacle for all of you in your own personal life that you're dealing with that if you were able to overcome that goal and figure out a way to kind of run through it, it would really help you achieve your goal faster. When I was at the face house, I would go and train Rain in the morning. We would go to the gym. Now, if I decided that I didn't want to do that with him and I wanted to go later in the day, Sometimes that would be a challenge for him. He'd have to find different transportation, maybe somebody else to go with him. It would cause a little bump in the road. Now this also caused a challenge and an obstacle for the other people in the house that wanted to train, whether it was Blaziken or Banks or Apex or you know Tommy. Any one of them that wanted to go, we had to go at a different time or they had to go at a different time. And it caused a different obstacle. It wasn't that they didn't know how to do the workouts. It wasn't even that they didn't have access to exercising because they had the gym downstairs as well. But sometimes they just wanted to go to the gym. And for some of you, maybe schedule. And maybe figuring out when you need to work out. If it's in your living room, are you nervous to ask because your family's watching TV? Or are you discouraged by your family because maybe your siblings or your friends or your parents don't really encourage what you're doing? And maybe you like to work out at night and you don't want to wake up your family so you haven't asked or really talked to them about it yet. So you just put it to the side and say, I'm gonna to try to work around it instead of trying to find a way that's gonna work best for you. Maybe it's your grandmother's cooking or the great dinner that your family always makes and you wanna ask or suggest a change but you haven't asked yet and you haven't talked to them about it yet or it's something you always get with your friends. I mean, you know, again, you don't wanna you know, disrupt that. You're trying to figure out a way around it. All of you have different circumstances. All of you have different situations and different family structures and different friends and different lifestyles and different schedules. Some of you have different parents with different ideals and different beliefs about certain types of food and exercise and some it's up here, some it's not as important and you have to find out a way that's gonna make it best for you. Some of you, it may be that motivation, it may be that knowledge as well. And maybe for you, it's finding the right person to talk to or meet up with or train with. Getting better people in your circle, on your team that are gonna help you achieve that goal. See, for all of you, it may be different. And I want you to think about right now, what's that one thing? Right now that if you were able to change that one thing, that would make it a lot easier for you. And again, it may be in your family. Really think, because a lot of you have already pushed to the side. You may even not even think that it's that significant or that important, but it actually might be, whether it's a gym membership or, or something, or it's a car ride somewhere, or getting picked up. I'm not sure. Again, it may be different for all of you, but I want you to think about that one thing that it is. And I want you to think about, man, if this one thing were to change for me, this would make it a lot easier for me and it would be a lot more motivating and I could actually work towards my goal a lot more. If you were able to overcome that obstacle, how much greener would the grass be on the other side? No matter what your fitness goal is, it's a science. But it's a simple science, not a rocket science. And some of you may even have a great start where you can get going, but how do you figure out how to get going and then keep going enough so you can achieve that goal? And I feel like whenever I talk to people who are working on their fitness goals or have fitness goals and are trying to make progress, it's always a different story. It's always a different circumstance or a different situation. Well, I can do it here, but not really there. Well, my mom or my dad or my brother is kind of like this, or you know, I'm trying to do it this time, but this person's doing this then. It's kind of hard for me because it's here. And that's life, and it, and it makes sense. So if you can find a way 
to you know tackle that whether it's talking to your family or talking to your friends or figuring out some sort of schedule that benefits you and saying hey mom dad listen I know I can't get this but can you help me get this maybe and can I borrow the living room for 30 minutes a day at this time or a couple times a week so I can work out instead of just not asking so I really want you to think about what it is what's that one thing that makes it hard for you to work on your goal and to make progress do you feel obligated to eat certain foods that you don't want to eat? Are you getting encouraged by certain people to not work out or to eat a certain way and you don't like that but you don't know what to say and you want to tackle that issue? So your answer to the number one reason you haven't achieved your fitness goal is that there is no number one reason for everybody. There's no general answer. It's all specific to your life and you got to figure out how can you make it easier for yourself? How can you use your environment to benefit you instead of having this part of your environment or a part of your circumstance making it harder for you to achieve your goals. That's the last thing that you want is want something in your environment or something within your family, within your friends, within your small circle to make it harder for you to achieve your goal. When you can set up your environment and the people around you who care about you to help you achieve your goal, that your environment pushes you forward instead of hold you back, at that point it's honestly just a matter of time. As long as you stay committed to at least know doing your best it's gonna be easy because you're gonna be pushed you're gonna be encouraged you're gonna be motivated if I if you had me in your corner every day or if I was one of your friends and you I saw you on a daily basis or five days a week and we had an opportunity to train together I guarantee I can kick your butt into shape so that's a part of you figuring out how can you create that type of environment around you with the circumstances that you have to help you achieve your goal. Thanks for watching the video leave a like if this helped you in any way and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon. Ooh,